Okay, people. Uh, this is something I had to show you this morning. I got up and got shocked. Uh, it's my generally, uh, I don't have that problem. This is my plasma setup, and you can see I've got the rodent coil sitting here. Um, I got the rodent coil with the output to my DC leg. This is the AC, uh, negative AC line going to the plug. You see, I got that hooked onto my plug here. And high voltage lead, which is a good insulation, you know, that, that's high, high voltage insulation around that plug. Um, anyway, I uh, turned on my plasma this morning. Actually, I didn't even have the plasma on. I was, I was looking at something uh, that Spody had mentioned about the AC getting back through the uh, coil and feeding uh, the coil extra voltage, shooting out 500 volt, 500,000 volts at the uh, high voltage lead. Uh, I don't think that's the case, but regardless, I touched one of the wires on the Rodin coil. Uh, it shocked the crap out of me. The Rodin coil is not plugged in. You can see, oh well, it is now, but I mean, it was not turned on. You see I've got my pins running into a connector. It's a 5 volt output from our computer. Now, the power's off. Uh, that's the power button. You probably can't even see it, but that's the power button. The power is off. Um, you're looking at the gauge that's hooked up on the motor, okay? Um, which actually one of the leads is hooked up to the B um, ground, incoming ground. And I've got power running through A and B. Um, positive, negative, incoming from oh I got wires touching here I gotta clean this mess up so anyway I've got uh, this hooked up with A uh, being the input and B being the output the positive negative coming off B going to the motor okay no voltage zero voltage turned on okay this is what's I think incredible uh, watch You'll hear me spinning. This is just the DC voltage. Is that not nuts? Now, I want to take and show you what I'm doing. I'm holding the trigger here. I'm spinning the distributor. I'm sparking the spark plug. That is regular DC spark. It's also being utilizing my coil that I had there, but that's just a normal everyday spark. I'm going to disconnect my ground from my coil and show you what happens to that spark. Still not a bad spark. It actually looks different than, uh, than it did before. Not getting the color there. The color is kind of purple. But you can see that it changes a lot whenever I hook up the ground to my coil. It, it intensifies it. That's why I use it. And it also helps to smooth out um, some of the spark. But it definitely intensifies it. And that's what I was getting at when I made that. But this is an amazing discovery. You'll see that you can attain resonance in that coil at a certain RPM. It'll jump up to eight or nine hundred. I'm smelling ozone big time right now. But it's real touchy, and I'm not that good at finding that number, finding that setting, this trigger. So anyway, just one of many tests. Uh, the the coil is picking up voltage. It will shock you when uh, when that's running. I had it hooked up before, actually not even running through there. I, I think I'll show that because it's something that needs to be seen. Okay, I'm gonna take the wire out of here. Okay, so it's not physically in uh, 
the same proximity. I'm going to move it back over here. I'm going to make sure my wires stay separated here. This is a clusterfuck, obviously, but okay. I'm going to put this back on, and I'm going to go ahead and run the DC while you look at the voltage. Now, you saw me disconnect that, right? So There you go. We're getting less voltage. Now, watch this. On my plug, I can disconnect one of our wires, right? Disconnecting it. Now watch our gauge. Half the voltage. Now I disconnect the other wire from our connector. Almost nothing. Now if I could if I hook these two wires together, which I don't know if I can do, sorry about that. Yeah, I think I can. Okay. Ooh, but then I get shocked. Alright, well whatever, it's worth it. Okay, and that's just me holding the two wires together like this. So there's an effect that happens with this coil that is not understood and it's able to pick up voltage easily from other sources. Now I'm not sure about distance. I haven't tried that yet, but with the plasma system, if you're able to control your frequency, you should be able to find resonance with your coil just by not even having your coil hooked up to it, but having it near it. Uh, this is this is fantastic, wonderful, crazy stuff. So Happy testing. Um, I thought I shut it off there.